nothing else I can do where seven or eight hours goes by in an hour and a half and people leave and go to work or go have a whole day doing something and you're like, yes, you got the whole day alone in here. And then like, hey, we're back. And you're like, ah, oh, I'm glad, you know, it's my girlfriend, I'm glad you're back, but like, really? Eight hours is gone already, you know? So it's that kind of thing. So as long as it feels like that, and I want to keep doing it every day, I mean, you know, anything that brings you joy like that. lyrics out on a piece of paper or anything I just kind of you know start playing something and you know and hopefully the syllables turn into words or maybe you've got one phrase in your mind that you heard that day or that you read in the paper or a thought you had and that can be the impetus to write around Sometimes when you're making up a song, it's you, but you are conjuring the spirit of some other person too, you know? And so I think, you know, I listened to my record and I was like, yeah, the first three songs, there's kind of like different dude each time. And it's still me, but when you record the way I do it at home over the period of maybe a year, year and a half, you're a different guy some, some days when you go in there, you're like, I'm pissed off today and I'm gonna sing a little bit like that. Or, you know, I'm feeling sad today, so I'm a little, and more than, more than maybe you would do if you were at a recording studio for 10 days. That's kind of a small amount of time and you're just that guy probably for those 10 days. But when you're recording for a year and a half, there's a lot of emotions and different life things going on. So you're, you can't always be the same it's not gonna be the same voice coming out because there's like a different there's like different spirits that need to get out you know in those songs and that's just what happens over the course of a year and a half or two there's different different Kellys pop out so strike up the band make a new friend leave behind the lonely uptight you're a shell in my actually out of tape anyway I've run out so I usually go and buy you always feel like you're under attack using tape like someday somebody's gonna say there's no more being made and you know good luck so whenever I go I usually buy a few rolls I think everybody does that they go buy like five or six and uh, there's one place out in the avenues here in about 10th Avenue it's a funny little family owned place it sells all kinds of tape. Yeah. Would you sing for us? R and M, R and M, there ain't no place like R and M when you need some tape and a kumquat too. The lovely folks, happy to help you at R and M. There we go. Thank you. Thank hey, you. all right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. All right. All right. See you. Take care. Thank you so much. Open the door at 74. Winter is gone. Oh, I, I, I don't know if my sound is tape dependent. I guess it's just what I know. It's like the ritual of putting it on and rewinding it and having to wait a little bit in between. After you do a take, you got to rewind for three minutes to start the song over. Computer, you just hit a button and you're right back where you need to be. So I think you grow, you get have to learn a little patience and you're impatient too while you're doing it. So that may feed into how the song ends up sounding. Mikey is an old friend of mine and plays guitar for me when I go to Australia. Mikey's a, a record collector and a really knowledgeable guy about music. So he played me this song, Baby I Got News For You. And Said it's by, he's like, have you heard of this song by Big Boy P? I was like, you know, never had heard of it. And we played it and we were both, I couldn't believe it. We were like, can't believe this song is made in 1965. You would have heard everything by now. Or a song this good, you'd think you would have heard by now. And, um, and 
what how, what a treat it is when music. That's such a nice thing about music is you hear stuff that's been sitting somewhere for so long, and then you hear it for the first time. You can't believe it. So we. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I came back home and wrote to him a few times, and he finally wrote back. And it turned out he'd moved to San Francisco, and he lives out here. Um, and he's lived out here since the late '60s. I hope you love me more, I guess, and I don't care if I do the right thing by you. Some folks are content to exist in a small tent I want a mansion with room for expansion Children, I want a million for a start Baby, you created this life for me A life of loving will always be Many's the day I pray for us both I don't want no bad thing to break our oath And I don't care if I... I think this one's just a really good, concise collection of pop rock songs. I guess you just try to make songs that you would like to listen to or hear, you know, so... I kind of like them. A lot of them are hit songs in my on the, the radio station in my mind. <laughs> All right. Nice, fun. Pete. All right.